G'day everyone, this is Lachlan Black from AutoCADTrainingBlog.com and I've got for you today another tutorial straight from the guys at DailyAutoCAD.com and this one here is Positioning Entities now what I'm going to do in this one is this is as you might notice it's a similar shape to what we did in the union of subtract command and we're going to use them commands again but this one's going to be more about positioning entities in the right spots using snaps okay so we will get into it this one should be a nice quick one so what we do is to get started I'm going to take this this box that's laying down and union it with this standing up box to make our L shape and to do this I just type move like so and hit enter select select the object I want to move and now actually what we'll do is we want to select a bit of a better base point so we'll get a nice view of the back here because that'll make selecting our base point so much easier than doing it from the front okay so we do move select it and I'm going to choose the midpoint on the back here down the bottom so that we can line it up with the midpoint at the back on the bottom of the other one like so and then easy done and now they're they're both there together but they're not actually one solid piece so we're just going to type union and hit enter and then select the objects hit enter again and now as you can see they are one solid object okay I'm just going to orbit around and now we're going to put this front semicircle on again it's a bit hard to type because I've got the microphone in front of me but bear with me and we'll select this one and we will move it straight in here like so and then union those two as well and that's done now it's one solid object and now with these two what we're going to do is we're going to subtract so first we'll do this square we'll type move and we'll use the front middle and align it with this front middle so that it's in the middle there and now we just type subtract hit enter select select the object you want to subtract from which is obviously the big one hit enter and now we choose this little square to subtract away and it's done now all we have to do is move this circle into place cylinder move that one now the base point for this one I'll be using the top and moving it straight in here and we'll be moving that straight into just this point here let's actually put it on top but that's okay this allows me to demonstrate the move command in another way so what we do for this one is we just select it choose the move command and we specify the base point which I'll use this top base point and as you can see we've got it selected there now what we want to do is we want to go 0 0 and negative 150 which just takes it down in the y coordinate 100, uh, the Z coordinate 150 because the Z coordinate is pointing upwards so there we go it has sunk that down 150 to make it inside now what we do is we just hit the subtract command subtract from that big one and we are subtracting the circle done now we'll just orbit that one and as you can see there's a hole straight through the middle and that there is our shape okay i hope you enjoyed this one and as always for more tutorials you can go to autocadtrainingblog.com or also dailyautocad.com okay bye bye